So let's read this question. Let f be a function with its first derivative given by this, where x is greater than 0. We're given a point, x is 1, y is 7, and x is 3, y is 9. What value, or values potentially, of x in the open interval 1 to, 1, 1 to 3, this is what that should say, satisfies the mean value of theorem for f on the closed interval 1 to 3. So we know that our x1 is equal to 1, our x2 is equal to 3. Those are a couple of things we know. So first of all, does the mean value theorem even apply? Well, not when x equals 0, because that's what would make our derivative undefined, but we're talking about x greater than 0. So we're definitely going to be differentiable because the numerator, 2x squared minus 4, doesn't have any breaks or jumps. So the mean value theorem applies. And the mean value theorem states a rock equals i rock. And they told us our i rock this time. We don't have to take a derivative. It's given to us 2x squared minus 4 all over x squared. But we need to know the i rock. So that will be our... 9 minus our 7 all over our 3 minus our 1. Well, 9 minus 7 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. So that means our average rate of change is 1. Okay. So now we will solve this equation. We could cross multiply. Somebody else might say, hey, I want to multiply both sides by x squared. That's fine too. When we do, that'll cancel here and we'll have 2x squared minus 4 equals x squared. Now we'll subtract our x squared from both sides. And we'll get x squared minus 4 equals 0 or x squared equals positive 4, adding 4 to both sides. I'll take the square root. x will equal plus and minus 2. But we're only looking on the closed interval from 1 to 3. 2 is right in the middle of there, but negative 2 is not. So we're only going to take 2, and we're going to say our answer is x equals 2.